Hey everybody. Okay, what I have here is my GoPro Hero 2. Um, what has happened to the camera is I was outside recording without the protective case. I didn't need it for what I was doing, but apparently I did. Um, it was sitting on my hummingbird feeder. It fell off, hit the ground, and then the base of the hummingbird feeder fell off and sugar water poured out. About two cups of it dumped all over this camera. What a disaster that was. Okay. Shit. Shit. Um, it malfunctioned. Uh, it wasn't working properly. It would, it would only actually turn on if I had it hooked up to the computer. Um, so I knew the sugar actually had got into it. So if you've got your camera wet, follow these same instructions, okay, for what I'm about to do. The first thing I want you to do is remove the memory card, okay? I'm going to put that off to the side. Chances are you're not going to have the sugar problem I did, so you're just going to need to take this out and leave it off to the side to dry real well. Um, then I want you to take off the back cover. Okay, put that off to the side. Remove the battery. Okay, check it out real good. Now I've already done this. I've already taken it apart and uh, and done everything that I'm showing you. Uh, the one thing that I didn't do um, when you're taking this apart is this whole entire thing is a sticker. So you're going to get a pair of tweezers and you're going to kind of pry underneath of here and peel that sticker off. Okay, I didn't do that. I actually pulled the camera apart after I took the screws apart. Um, it does work basically the same way. Okay, now what you have here is four screws. Pay attention to where they are, okay? Uh, there's one in each corner and the two over here are different than the two over here so keep those separated. You'll notice a difference um, after. So I'm just gonna quickly buzz these out. I'd fast forward through this section but it's, uh, it's fairly quick and I'm gonna leave um, my screws in this casing when I pull it apart, okay? Now if you don't remove the sticker like I said, whoops, see one of the screws actually came out. I know which ones are which so I can actually uh, leave them over here. Okay, I have to get them out. If you don't remove this sticker, it's going to pull apart very hard, but I've already done it so as you can see, mine comes apart actually quite easy. And then all you can do is when you get this far, is I want you to remove it's actually these down in here in the hole okay that one and this one okay so let's do those right now and you notice these two here that I'm taking out these are quite long so you're not going to get them mixed up with any other one remember which side they're on because they're longer than the one screw that is on the other side okay so on the other side we've got I'm going to turn it around for you on the other side right underneath of the of the uh, power tape we've got one screw right down in here a black one let me see if I can show you it I don't have very good lighting it's right in here right in here okay so I'm gonna take that out right now it's a it's a short one and that is the last one okay and after you get it this should all come right out which it does along with your uh, screen from the front. Okay, so what are you going to do now? Now that this is all apart and free, you're going to take this, all of this, um, and the battery, okay, and your card, just in case there's moisture in any of it. Um, you're going to put it all into a container of rice. What I've got right here is actually a, a large container of rice and I'm going to put it inside of that container so it's completely covered. Um, do that for about, I don't know, I'd say three days, probably max. Um, take it back out after you take it out. Look and make sure you don't see any apparent moisture. If you don't see any moisture, then what I did was uh, I used a hair dryer 
on low for about, I don't know, I held it in my hand so I made sure the unit didn't get too hot. I mean, I blew in all the different areas on it for about a minute and a half, okay? I put the camera all back together, which you just saw me how to take it apart, put it back together the same way in reverse. Um, and it should work, okay? Um, I didn't do it for three days, to be honest with you. When I took it all apart, I took this camera completely apart because it was covered in sugar water, and I dunked this in all the electronics under really, really hot water <clears throat> and shook it pretty crazy uh, so that it would get all the sugar out of there uh, for probably a minute and a half at least. Then I pretty much just held it in my hand and shook it really, really hard um, until all the water stopped seeping out of it, okay? Only then did I put it in the rice, um, like I said, for, I only did it for a day. This morning I did the hair dryer for a minute Put it all back together, everything's working great. Okay, so this fix actually does work. Okay, so that's about it, everybody. Uh, go ahead and put it back together in reverse, the same way that I took it apart. Okay, just do it in reverse. And uh, I hope you have good luck with it. I hope it starts up. But definitely wait the three to four days um, before you put it back together. I think I just got lucky and it did dry out. But uh, you might want to wait a little extra time. Okay, so good luck, everybody.